Hello everybody, welcome to Something Political's third video. In this video, we will talk about another classical realist scholar, E. H. Carr. Edward Hallett Carr, a British political scientist and historian, is one of the most prominent figures of the school of classical realism. During the World War I, Carr could not be deployed by the British Army due to his medical problems and he started working for the Foreign Office. In the department that he worked, he was responsible for dealing with relations with Russia. That influenced his future studies since he further specialized on modern Russian history in his job. His best-known work, The Twenty Years' Crisis, was published in 1939. This book was a strong critique for the idealist political perspectives and it was regarded as a work that re-emphasized the role of power in international political sphere. Carr argued that the state is an organic entity, therefore it has always been subject to change. So, power, apparently the primary interest of states, is also subject to change. This change is affected by factors like prevailing cultures, time, space, or ideas. So, it would be wrong to assume that all states are primarily interested in pursuing power. If there is the element of change, interest in the form of power cannot be accepted fixed. Although E. H. Carr is accepted as a classical realist, his work and ideas have unique characteristics. He criticizes utopians, arguing that they fail to introduce a realist approach to the facts while underlining the importance of what should have been. But he also criticizes realists for not producing ideas to address the question of what should have been while being fully busy with finding out what is there. For him, the best approach is finding a balance, a midway in between, to improve international political relations. For example, he argued that if diplomats and statesmen could have established a system that was designed to understand the different national interests instead of following an utopian agenda in the interwar years, they could have solved many problems even before they became apparent. So, that brings us to the end of this incredibly short video about E. H. Carr as our second classical realist scholar. We will continue with structural realism, the second sub-school of realism in IR, in our next video. If you liked the video, please do not forget to like it and for our other videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.